welcome yourselves back to the channel ladies and gentlemen it's your boy jd it's nice to see you all again i hope you've all had a great weekend i hope you've all had a great start to your week in today's episode we're going to be talking about a very interesting but not surprising situation that went down a few days ago and as this video progresses you'll see what i mean by that i hope you enjoy but we all understand at this point that speaking out against woke ideology woke culture is the biggest crime one can commit right because everybody and anybody must have the same worldview. So I deeply apologize to all these people who simply cannot stand it because I think every single person watching right now is uh, guilty as charged. But they hate it so much that when people turn up to events and they speak out against woke culture, etc, etc, you can bet every single time the liberals, the progressives will come out in their very large and intimidating groups and protest against whichever person decides to stand up for the truth. We see it all the time. And in this video today specifically, it is about Riley Gaines once again. Because every single time she turns up to an event, speaks up for women, speaks out against the issues women's sports is facing, doing a lot of amazing work for women. Every single time they turn up and they kick, scream and shout, it is always the same. And I think I speak for everybody here, it gets ever so boring. Now, before we carry on with this one, if you could, make sure to leave a like rating as it really, really helps out the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this article as Outkick go on to report. Riley Gaines takes over UC Davis for protecting women's sport event against waves of mass cowardly protesters. Ah yes, I do apologize right here because I did actually forget when they turn up, they always wear their classic attire for whatever reason. Women's rights activist Riley Gaines took on immense pushback when she announced an event at the University of California, Davis. Gaines took the ridicule and threats of violence promoted by UC Davis students head on and the far left NorCal resist activist group. Or well, don't they sound lovely? She challenged the swell of protesters against the principles to stay true to her principles and Riley won the battle on Friday with a refusal to stay silent. As you always should write, I don't think people should feel like they need to stay silent or feel like they've been forced to stay silent because some groups of people out there simply cannot handle the truth you know because when you stand up for these issues not only are you obviously standing up for truth but you're standing up for common sense and reality you're standing up for women feeling safe and protected in their sport so when Riley Gaines always does this she must be applauded because she does go through quite a bit and when you sit here and think about it and think about all the things I've listed these people protest against that right they protest against truth reality common sense they protest against women feeling safe and protected in their sports so that really does show you what they stand for right if i needed to tell you anyway but let's look at some video footage of these lovely stunning and brave people alejandro avila i believe that's how you say his name posts on x far left activist protest outside Riley Gaines event at uc davis the mob of crazy students tried swatting cameras and threatened bystanders outside the conference center to protect women's sport event carries on. I mean, you've got to give them credit, right? You really do, because their chants, as always, are very, very creative. I honestly don't know where they get the talent from. I really don't. But again, these are the lengths people will go to to try and stop others from speaking out against the liberal leftist agenda, because as I said at the beginning of the video, you're simply not allowed to do so. Now, of course, everybody deserves the right to voice their opinion, but what we see is just one side of the argument constantly, whether it's in real life or on social media, trying to silence the other side in voicing their opinion. And when that happens, then there is a big issue. I mean, for those of you that remember, Riley Gaines was, what, ambushed a few months ago by high school students. You know, they didn't let her leave. They surrounded her. I'll play a short clip on your screen right now. <laughs>
I'm coming. I'm good. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. Imagine acting like that. I mean, I'm sure their parents are overjoyed, right? Very proud. And the fact that Riley Gaines still carries on and does the work she does after being put in those situations, you've got to applaud her, right? You've got to applaud her anyway for standing up for the truth, reality, common sense. Because a lot of people, when put in that situation, would question themselves, wouldn't they? They'd sit there and think, well, you know, maybe should I just live a quiet life, leave this all behind me? But Riley Gaines clearly has said, no, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to keep doing the work I'm doing. I'm going to stand up and push for change in women's sports. Police and security at the event alike expected a rough evening from protesters evidenced by Davis' criminal protest of conservative pundit Charlie Kirk. Outside the venue, 40 plus security members lined the entrances and exits. They anticipated a massive gathering to be expected from the Northern California crowd. And if there are takeaways from this event, it's this. The protests take on a different meaning when you're there to witness them in person. And the same applies to Riley's courage, showcasing composure and compassion toward the activists in her speech. Forget it's not about being right. She knows she's right. Two genders exist and men aren't women and vice versa. It's about encouraging and protecting the next generation of female athletes. Don't wait until this happens to you to take a stand, Gaines declared on the podium Friday night. Then Alejandro again posts a video of these people trying to block traffic. Also, they run away as security presence gets heavier. Take a look. You know, it just shows you these people aren't as tough as they make out to be. They'll try and go out of their way to intimidate women like Riley Gaines. But as soon as security shows up, nah, 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 that's it. We've got to get out of this one, guys. We can't handle this. <laughs> When, when I see these people protest against women and others like Riley Gaines and protest against what they stand for, to me, and it's not hard to see, right, we can all see this, they don't care about the concerns of other people, it's always their way or the highway, and it's always been like that, they don't care about the concerns friends have, you know, friends of women who may be going into sports and thinking, wait, hold on, can a man come into this sport as well? Or the concerns of family and parents. You know, they may have a daughter, a young daughter who's going into a sport, and they're concerned about the potential situation of a boy going into their sport and completely destroying the competition. They don't care about women's sports, and it's interesting, right? Because you'll see them all the time saying, oh, we care about women's rights, etc., etc., yet they're all for women's sports being eroded. So when I sit here and I see that, that says to me also, they don't care about women's rights. They only care when it suits them. It suits their liberal agenda. I mean, even just having a concern today makes you a bigoted person, right? If you're a parent, as I said, and you're concerned about your daughter and the sport she's in, well, that's deeply offensive. How dare you have a concern? You're not allowed to do that. That's highly offensive. How dare you be concerned about another male coming into the sport and destroying the competition? That's not allowed. We must silence you. What is also crazy to me, and it's just hit my mind now, there are actually people in California who are against woke ideology. Is the world changing? <clears throat> well, there you go. <laughs> but leave your thoughts down below on today's story, ladies and gentlemen. What are your thoughts on these very stunning and brave students who are masked, as always, coming out and protesting against Riley Gaines? I would like to know. If you have enjoyed today, then please for me also, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Share this video. But until next time, until tomorrow, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace.